Hello and welcome to another little video where I'm going to be fitting my Lakeside autofocus motor uh, to my Takahashi FSQ106. I already had the Lakeside motor fitted to my Star 71 as you can see the different brackets and I just ordered a new bracket from me in King Imaging. It comes from Lakeside, uh, pre-made to fit directly onto your OTA which is great. Um, as a part of the kit you also get the coupler and the little pack of nuts and bolts which are the right size and length for what you need for your particular OTA. As you can see it's a different size hole on one end to the other. So one end fits onto the lakeside motor itself. Um, there's a little flat on the shaft which lines up with the grub screw and the other side fits straight onto your um, focus knob or where the shaft when your focus knob comes off. You need some Allen keys for this. Uh, you actually need a 1.5, 2mm, 2.5 and a 3mm Allen key. So varying sizes for the different screws that, that come with the kit. And a little pair of pliers or something similar just to hold on to the, the small nuts at the, the back of the, the bolts that are given to you. Now as you can see your, your little... Um, D connector can be fitted on. Um, I suggest putting the nuts on the top so the bolts facing upwards just makes putting the plug on a little bit easier. And of course the uh, the motor can go on and just make sure it's loose, just so that it can slide up and down uh, because we just need to put that on the shaft quite gently first so that it can sit in the right place. So firstly we're going to zoom in and we can have a look and you can see where the little grub screws are now we're going to be taking off the single knob side not the dual speed side um, this is important because this is the only side it will fit on there's two little grub screws on this um, so just place the allen key the 1.5 mm allen key in loosen those off um, don't take them all the way out they don't need to come out and then once they're loose the focus knob will just slide off quite easily um, make sure you keep that safe because obviously if you do ever get rid of your um, your OTA you're going to want to put that back on. Now what we need to do as well is get our 3mm Allen key and take out the the two bolts on that side which hold down the, the focuser itself. Don't loosen off the other side. Um, you only need to take these two out and these get replaced with the two that come in the kit because they're the same size but they're slightly longer because of, obviously they need to account for the bracket. We'll just zoom out so you can get a better look of what we're doing. So now we take the coupler that comes and you'll see the larger hole obviously lines up with the focus or end. Now push it all the way home but then just a tiny little fraction away just so that it doesn't rub on the the focus around. And also when you're doing it you'll see I'm just wiggling it back and forth and all that is is just to make sure that the grub, suit, grub screw sits flat on the, the flat of the shaft. So it doesn't, um, when it turns, it doesn't loosen it off. And just run, run the focuser back and forth, just make sure it's clear and not rubbing. Now get hold of your bracket now. An idea is to turn the focuser so that the grub screws are sideways, but they also need to line up with the, the flat that's on the, the shaft from the, um, the, the focus motor. So once that's on, you'll see that the, um, the, the grub screw is now accessible. If you put a grub screw at the top, you won't be able to do it up. Now that should now be in line with the, the little flat on the shaft. And that should, um, it may not be perfectly aligned with the top, but it doesn't matter because you can then turn your, your focus knob to get the top plate flat. make sure that's nicely snugged up now you'll see now it just turns and you can now lay that flat on there now an idea now is just to tighten up these little nuts just so that they're nipped on because the idea now is that we want the bracket 
to pull up against the motor so that we've got the the distance in right because if it isn't once you've tightened up the top two screws and then you tighten up the focus motor it will pull it too tight and it will start trying to push the coupling into the the focuser so just tight or not tight but just snugged up so that you've still got a tiny tiny little bit of play um, but it's enough that it's pulled up against it then you can put your top bolts back in the longer ones with the washers and at this point now everything is reasonably aligned so these bolts on here now can just be uh, tightened up fairly tight just so that it's nice and home and everything's uh, firmed up once they're just tight enough now we can then tighten up fully uh, the, the two small little bolts now that are holding on the, the focus motor and as you'll see I just loosen off the bolts before tightening them up just to make sure that the focus motor itself can take its own centre before tightening them back up and then finally just give the top two bolts a final tighten home make sure they're nice and tight but always be careful not to over tighten the bolts as they're only small and it's very easy to strip the uh, aluminium casing. And then just make sure that we give the coupler a last little tighten home to make sure that's sat right. And that's about it. The job's done. It's a fairly easy job. So I hope this has been helpful and this is it when it's all finished off. And in the second part, we'll run through calibration and operation of the controller. See you soon. Bye.